Okay, while I'm talking about ammunition, yes, I did get the Horner the critical defense. Uh, and that comes in the 9x18 Makarov. Okay, 98 grain FTX. It's a muzzle at uh, velocity uh, 100 FPS. Okay, at 60 yards, 94, and 100 yards, 880. Okay. Now, also, and that's for self-defense ammo. Uh, for for uh, plinking, if that's what you want to call it. I was able to pick this up, and uh, now that's 12.99 for 50 rounds. I can't get nine millimeter ammunition or 380 ammunition for that price. Uh, okay, and it, again, it's 94 grain uh, zinc plated, and I'll show you the round here in a second. Okay, and that's pretty much what it looks like. I'll compare it up to the nine millimeter again and the 380 just to give you a side-by-side -side comparison I get as close to that as I can it'll focus so this is nine millimeter this is nine by 18 and that's 380 <coughs> and this is the brand new Makarov I say brand new but um, this one was made in Poland and uh, fires 9x18, imported by CAR Georgia, Vermont. Okay, uh, it's a P64 model. Now, there are different models, but this is a P64. Okay, if we turn it over on this side, I'll just cover up the serial number, made in 1970, and it's uh, uh, an 11. I believe that's the place it was manufactured. Um, it's a nice real nice condition I am missing the little covers that go over the screws I'm gonna look to get I'm gonna look to get all new uh, wood grips for this anyway don't really care for the grips now the mag re release is a little different it is done on the bottom okay uh, the empty mag is what holds it open you cannot release that that slide until you drop the mag Okay, and then that goes down. <clears throat> it does have a, a safety and a decocker as well. It is a uh, single double action. So here it is, the hammer's down, pull the trigger the first time, and it is double action. Here we go, I'm going to give you some specs on the gun uh, as we go, and and when I'm done shooting it, uh, we'll do some cleaning with it, okay? So, hang in there, we're going to uh, load it up.
Disney cock, ready to rock and roll. Here we go, taking our first shots with the Makarov. Came in uh, 9 by 18. See how we're doing on the target. Uh, 21 feet. Uh, they're all in the black. In the black. Okay, what I'm finding is the transition from uh, Double action to single action is a little uh, awkward. Uh, it seems like that when you go the first time it goes to single action, uh, it's right there. Anyway, I'm going to try that again. So the first put around is going to be in double action because uh, I used a decocker. So here we go. I'd say that's a pretty consistent grouping right there. Okay, as you're aware, I like options to carry with. Here I am outfitted in a number seven Remora holster. Uh, it's perfectly in it. Okay, go ahead and put that right inside your waistband and it becomes a easy draw. In the appendix position. Also, if that doesn't work, same holster inside the pocket. And as you can see, completely covered, completely concealed, and yet drawable the holster stays inside the pocket. Okay, now we're going to do a little uh, disassembly. Here we are again with the Remora holster. I'm going to take that to, just to make sure. Empty. Empty. Okay. So we're going to take the magazine out. And uh, no tools needed with this weapon. Field stripping is as easy as one, two, three. You just pull the, the trigger guard down. You set it to the side a little bit. Pull, pull back and out, and the whole gun comes apart. That's it. It's a fixed barrel. That's one of the things that's different here. It's a fixed barrel and the slide, and it's that simple. So we just take some clean fluid. That's as easy as it is to get back together again. And there you have it. Get it in sunlight for you. The Makarov P64 came in in 918. A sweet, sweet shooter. Just shot 50 rounds flawlessly. 
look I'm looking forward to carrying this weapon and using it at the range some more. This is Fire on Pop. Be safe out there and God bless. Bye now. This is Fire on Pop and I approve of this message.